Most retinal detachments are spontaneous. Uh, there's a, a common misconception that they're typically due to an injury or a blow to the head. Uh, some are, but the vast majority happen spontaneously. The first symptoms a patient will notice are rapidly increasing floaters, uh, streaks or arc-like flashing lights in their vision, or distortion or loss of their side vision. Uh, those are the primary symptoms that someone would notice uh, if they were to develop a retinal break, tear, uh, or detachment of the retina. Basically what happens is your eye is, is filled with gel, kind of like egg whites, and that's what we call the vitreous. And that vitreous is connected to the retina. And if you're unlucky enough, as that vitreous gel is pulling on the retina, it can pull hard enough that it, that it tears the retina. And when that happens, the fluid that fills your eye can start to go through that tear and get under the retina, and basically it starts to peel it off just like wallpaper coming off the wall. Ideally, we want to catch uh, these problems as early as possible. Tears are easily treated in the office with either a laser or a freezing treatment. If a tear does indeed progress to a retinal detachment, typically we're looking at other surgical options. Rarely there are some in-office procedures that can be done to successfully reattach a retina. Typically, we're talking about a trip to the operating room to repair a retinal detachment to hopefully try to improve or preserve the, the remaining vision in the eye.